Hi, I'm Michael Hammersley, a materials engineer in our avionics department, and I'll be bringing you status updates on the vehicle. Uh, Falcon 9 rolled out to the pad with the Bangabandhu Satellite 1 payload last night at about 8 p.m. local time, and it went vertical at roughly uh, 8, 8, 8 a.m. local time this morning. We went through the launch director's go, no-go poll, held at about T-minus two hours, and we're currently working no issues on the vehicle. Uh, one of the several changes to Block 5 is in how we load propellants. Uh, we use a liquid kerosene fuel called RP-1, and our oxidizer is liquid oxygen. Now, instead of uh, starting with our fuel load at T-minus 70 minutes, uh, we began loading both RP-1 and liquid oxygen onto the first stage at T-minus 35 minutes. At the same time, we started loading RP-1 onto the second stage. Um, uh, so the first stage is going to be continuing its fill uh, just until a couple minutes before launch. It's at about 80% uh, full of RP-1 and, uh, sorry, 85% full of RP-1 and about 80% of liquid oxygen. Uh, the second stage does its uh, propellant loading sequentially. So its RP-1 load is actually complete. That was finishing up at about T minus 22 minutes. And the liquid oxygen load began just a few moments ago, and it's at about 15% uh, loaded at the moment. Um, we pressurized the tanks with helium. Those are at just under 100%. We'll slowly be trickling in uh, uh, additional helium. Uh, those those uh, hold the pressure in the tanks when we're uh, uh, emptying the tanks of fuel during ascent. We're also planning on recovering the first stage of today's Falcon 9. The drone ship, of course, I still love you, is currently holding position 340 nautical miles southeast of Kennedy Space Center. And after stage separation around uh, T plus three and a half minutes or so, um, or two and a half minutes or so, excuse me, we should be bringing you live coverage uh, on its way back down. Uh, all told, vehicle's healthy at the moment. Uh, payload's also healthy and the range is a go. Uh, Weather-wise, we're watching some strong high-altitude winds and some thick cloud layers that are cooling to minus 20 degrees Celsius, uh, but there's nothing that's looking like it's going to stop us from launching in 12 minutes from now. As previously, as previously mentioned, Bangabandhu Satellite 1 will be the first Bangladeshi geostationary communication satellite for the country of Bangladesh. The satellite was built by Thales Alenius Bas of France and fitted with 26 KU band and 14 C band transponders. This allows the satellite to cover a wide variety of broadcast and telecommunication applications, including satellite TV, internet access, and emergency communication services, and much, much more. The satellite will be operated by the Bangladesh Telecommunication Regulatory Commission, or the BTRC. Located at 119.1 degrees east, Bangabandhu Satellite 1 will provide direct-to-home services, video distribution, and very small aperture terminal communications across Bangladesh. The satellite will also provide broadband connectivity to rural areas throughout the country. The satellite's mission is expected to last at least 15 years. The launch of Bangad Bangabandhu Satellite 1 is a key milestone for the country of Bangladesh. And to acknowledge this effort, we have a special message from the CEO of Talas Alenius Bas, and its messages to the teams who made this mission possible. Today is an important day for Bangladesh and for all of us. Bangabandhu Satellite 1 is wavered and adopted a pioneering and ambitious space program that will mark the history of Bangladesh. And I'm very proud of Thalesania Space to be part of this exciting story. Bangabandhu Satellite One is designed to reduce the digital divide in Bangladesh by providing broadcasting and communication services all over the country and particularly in rural zones. This satellite will highly contribute to the economic development of Bangladesh. Being the country's first telecom satellite, it also represents the confirmation of Bangladesh entry into the high-tech space sphere. And at Thales Anya Space, we are delighted to contribute and make this happen. The teams from Bangladesh worked with ours in a very professional and human way. We will never forget the emotional and decisive moment of a satellite's acceptance review in our clean rooms. The entire delegation with a Bangladeshi flag in their hands began to sing in unison in front of a huge silvery mass of the Bangabandhu Satellite One. It's moments like these that really lend meaning to our motto, Space for Life. I would like to congratulate all teams involved for doing such a fantastic job. 
Thales Alenia Space Teams for their large contribution and for having delivered the satellite on time. Spectra, our efficient satellite ground segment partner in Bangladesh, and SPI team for the close cooperation with our teams along the program. Finally, I would like to warmly thank BTRC for entrusting us with the first satellite. From beginning to end, you can count on Thales Alenia Space. Joy Banga Bandhu, Joy Bangladesh. Falcon 9 is on in turtle power. Gas closeouts is running. M1D fuel bleed complete. AFGS ready to launch. Hold the countdown, we've had a launch abort sequence start. Uh, it looks like just after Falcon 9 entered startup mode, uh, it threw an abort. Uh, we're currently looking into a uh, little more details to see if we're able to continue uh, today's mission. If not, we'll be uh, using our backup day tomorrow at about the same time. And we've just received uh, final confirmation that we are standing down today due to a, a violation of abort criteria. Um, uh, the vehicle and payload are good, in good health. The next launch opportunity is tomorrow, uh, May 11th. Uh, again, if you're just joining us, uh, we uh, had a launch attempt at uh, 5.47 p.m. Eastern Time. Falcon 9 threw an abort in the final minute of countdown. Uh, and it seems like we are uh, unable to uh, reach the launch uh, or to launch within the launch window for today at this time. Uh, we have concluded a preliminary review, however, and uh, have determined that the vehicle and payload are in good health and will be aiming to uh, launch tomorrow during our backup launch window at 4.14 p.m. Eastern Time, closing at 6.21 p.m. Eastern Time.